Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about Andorontic instrument standardization. So let's get started. Ingle and Levine established a logical nomenclature for a standardized instrument so that all the manufacturers could conform to the length, width and taper of the instrument to a specific standard. So it was proposed that the instrument shall be numbered from 10 to 100 that is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So here as we can see from 10 to 60 the advancement is by 5 units and from 60 to 100 the advancement is by 10 units. All right. The instrument number will tell about the diameter of the instrument tip in hundredth of a millimeter. So, for example, the instrument number 20 will have a tip diameter of about 0 0.20 mm at the tip. Instrument number 10 will have a diameter at the tip of about 0 0.10 at the tip. And a 15 number will have 0 0.15 mm at the tip. Alright. The working blade begins at D1. And 16 mm from the D1 up to the shaft we have D2. An increase in taper of 0 0.02 mm per mm for every instrument regardless of the size became constant. So the 2% taper was kept constant regardless of the size of the instrument. Uh, this, this system, the Ingle system which was uh, endorsed and further developed by ISO that is the International Standards Organization. So the changes have been proposed. So the instrument handles have been color coded for easier recognition. The smaller size instruments 6, 8 were added and larger number 110 and 140 were added. So as we have discussed the smaller file 6, 8 was introduced and the larger one were also introduced. And they have been color coded for easy recognition. The pink depicts the 6 number file, the gray 8 number, the purple one that is a 10 number 5. These are the unique one and the 15 that is a white number, the 20 number that is depicted in yellow, the 25 depicted in red, 30 depicted in uh, blue, 35 depicted in green, 40 depicted in black. So these colors are repeated but these are not. So these are unique colors, all right. And so here as we can see from 45 to 80 and from 90 to 140. All right. Later on, the greater taper instrument that have a taper of about of from more than 2% were introduced and they were available in 4%, 6%, 8%, 10% and 12%. So if we say uh, we have a file that have a taper of about 2%. So what does that mean? It means diameter increases by 0.02 mm per millimeter. Alright. So let's take an example. Uh, this is a number 30 file. So it will have a tip diameter of about point. 30 millimeter all right and let's suppose if we cut this file in by 2 mm so what is the diameter obtained at the tip now after cutting it by 2 millimeter so how do we calculate that so it's simple so since we are talking about number 30 files so the tip diameter it should be 0 
and the taper we are talking here now of two percent so taper is 0 0.20 and since we have cut the pile by 2 mm so we will place 2 so 2 multiplied by 0 0.02 and this sum will give you 0 0.34 so now we have 0.34 mm at the tip after cutting 2 mm from the tip in this 30 number file suppose if we cut the uh, instrument 4 mm from the tip so the change is the only change that we here we have to make here we will multiply 4 by 0 0.02 instead of 2 and this will give us 0 0.38 so it's simple all right so moving ahead the instruments are available in three lengths the short 21 mm the standard 25 mm and the longer 31 mm the longer one usually used in cases of canine where we have longer roots and the changes that have been proposed the the tip diameter that previously we used to call it d1 was changed to d0 and 16 mm from this D0, we used to have D2, but now we call it as D16. And 3 mm from D0, we have D3. Alright. So, an additional diameter D3, 3 mm from the tip of the cutting end of the instrument was added. Alright, the tip angle of the instrument should be 75 degree plus minus 15 degree so to summarize original versus present so previously we used to have d1 at the tip that depicts the diameter of the instrument at the tip and from 16 mm to that we have d2 but now so this d1 has been changed to d0 and 3 mm from D0 we have D3 and 16 mm from D0 we have D16. Alright. So D1 plus 0 0.32 mm will give you D2 and D0 plus 0 0.32 mm will give you D16. Alright. So this is all about the standardization of the dotted instrument. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.